I'd like to think that all the cookbooks I've written have got a bit of a mission statement at their core. And uh, in this case, the mission statement couldn't be more simple. It is just, let's all eat more vegetables. And I guess to some people it might seem a, a curious, counterintuitive message coming from someone who is quite a well-known carnivore and in, in fact has published rather a fat tome on the joys of cooking meat. But actually, if you look at the River Cottage meat book, one of the opening lines really is that I think we all eat too much meat. And in many ways, the River Cottage veg book is the companion volume, a great stack of recipes to enable us to eat a bit less meat and enjoy our veg even more. And if we are gonna get more from our vegetables, well, I think we have to be just a bit more adventurous with them. Start doing things with them in the kitchen that perhaps we haven't tried before. Let's roast them, grill them, barbecue them, turn them into little fritters and exciting things like that. Let's maximize the extraordinary range of flavors and textures that are on offer. And that's what I hope I've done in the book. There's a couple of hundred recipes in here, catering for all occasions from quick store cupboard suppers to really special dinner party dishes that you'd be proud to put before your most demanding culinary friends. And most of the recipes here are really incredibly simple. Easy, colourful assemblies of seasonal veg that go together well. Lots of them are fresh and salady and summery. Others are really rich, warming and hearty, enough to see you through the chills of autumn and winter. And what I hope all these recipes have in common is that they demonstrate that cooking with veg and veg alone, not just once in a while, but often, is an absolute joy. And eating the results of that cooking, an even bigger pleasure.